UFC 308 is going to be awesome, even if I do have to get up early to watch it. As for that main card, Ilya Topuria versus Max Holloway, I'm placing a bet on Max Holloway, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why in this video. So stick around. If you're trying to make some money on 308, a bet on Max Holloway actually is kind of attractive right now. Okay, why am I saying that? How do I back that bet up? Here's what I got for you. Holloway is number one in the UFC for significant strikes landed. Sean Strickland is second by 2,069. He has over a thousand more significant strikes landed than the next best guy. What else about Holloway? He is all over the record book. Tied for eighth in most finishes, tied for third in most KO wins, tied for fourth in longest win streak, and then third place for total fight time. And yet the odds are saying this guy only has a 25% chance of winning. Like a lot of people, I think it is super hard to call. But unlike some people, I don't think Tapuria is that much of a lock to win this match. And let me just anticipate everyone who's going to say Max can't handle Ilya Tapuria's boxing and striking. Because I got five points that may change your mind. Let's look at number one. Holloway's volume and use of angles. Max doesn't just throw one or two punches. He throws five, six, seven punch combinations. I don't think Topuria is used to that constant pressure and it can force him on the defensive, which will make it hard for him to get comfortable and land those big heavy punches that he's famous for that knocked out Volkanovski. Next, there's footwork and distance management. Holloway is a master of lateral movement and circling away from the danger. He keeps his opponents at a perfect range for his striking and kicks. Topuria, on the other hand, likes to get in close and throw bombs. But if Max can stay just outside of that power zone, he can frustrate Topuria and make him chase, which will take away some of the punching power. Then we've got Max's jab and lead hand control. His jab is one of the best in the UFC. He uses it like a sniper just picking opponents off at the distance and keeps them at bay. Max's jab can disrupt Topuria's forward pressure and stop him from setting up big combinations. Max is also great at feinting and using hand fighting. Remember those eye pokes from UFC 300, not saying they're intentional, but he uses his hands to keep his opponents at bay, which really disrupts a guy's rhythm. And let's not forget about Holloway's counters and head movement. When Topuria charges with those looping hooks, Holloway can slip and duck and fire back with sharp counters. Max has got this ability to take a shot and fire right back. That's gonna really mess with the guy. Lastly, I just wanna talk about Max's body attacks, his low kicks and his shots to the body. This wears on the gas tank of Topuria and can slow him down also making those punches less powerful. So Max has five things that he can take to this fight. Number one, the volume. Number two, the movement. Number three, the jab. Number four, the counter. And number five, shots to the body, kicks to the leg. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough matchup, but if anyone can handle it, Max Holloway's the guy. So let me give you some reasons why Max Holloway could win this fight. Max Holloway's resume is packed full of former champions and elite level fighters. His experience in those extra championship rounds gives him the mental edge in my opinion. Next, let's talk about volume striking. Max Holloway isn't just one of the best strikers in the division, he's one of the most prolific. Like I said, he's got the most significant strikes. He can land over 400 strikes in a single fight. Yes, Topuria has explosive, hard-hitting power, but Max has a relentless pace that could overwhelm him. And it's possible that Max can outpoint Topuria round by round for five rounds. Reason number three, takedown defense. So a lot of people talk about Topuria's boxing, but we all know he's Greco-Roman wrestler, background in jiu-jitsu, very strong grappling on the ground. And if Topuria can't control Max on the ground, that's gonna play in to Holloway's strengths on the feet. Reason number four, let's talk about Holloway's cardio. You saw him at UFC 300, how great his conditioning and stamina was for the full five rounds. Lastly, let's talk about fight IQ, something super abstract, but let's try to pinpoint it, okay? I think Max's experience in reading how fights go could be his key to victory. He has this ability to make adjustments mid-fight. He adapts, he can switch up his game plan if needed, and he knows how to exploit his opponent's weakness. So that is why I think Max Holloway is going to win this fight. There are probably a lot of Tapuria fans out there that can make a very good case for why he could win. If you are one of those, leave me a comment down below. I wanna hear what you think. And also, if you are supporting Max, and if you've got a bet on, let me know what that bet is in the comments down below. I appreciate everyone watching and sticking to the end. You might as well hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. See you guys.